Hi, I'm Greg, a sophomore at Princeton University, and today I'm going to tell you how I improved my SAT Math 2 subject test score by over 100 points in under a week. In that short amount of time, I went from scoring in the mid 600 range to scoring near perfect or perfect on every single practice test. And yes, this happened in just one week. Now, I know what you're thinking. The idea of improving your SAT Math 2 subject test score by over 100 points in just a week, which is like, what, 20, 30 points a day? That sounds pretty ridiculous. But the truth is, if you watch this entire video, yes, the whole thing, and you follow every single tip and advice that I'm going to give you today, you will have massive results. So get out your notebook, exit out of Minecraft, do whatever you have to do to stay focused for like these next eight minutes. When it comes to studying for the SAT or the ACT, people will generally spend weeks, months, even years studying and still can't really improve. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I self-studied for the SAT and improved my score over 300 points. But even for me, it took over three months to achieve this. So if it took me three months to master the SAT, which is administered by the college board, why did it only take a week for me to master the SAT Math 2 subject test, which is administered by the same company? Well, the difference is that the SAT Math 2 subject test is strictly content-based. Unlike the SAT and the ACT, the SAT Math Level 2 subject test doesn't have any trick questions or trick answers that are meant to fool you into selecting a wrong answer. Why is that the case? Well, think about it. The SAT and the ACT are meant to measure your critical thinking skills and college aptitude, not necessarily your general content knowledge in any specific area. So if everyone scores really well on the SAT or the ACT, that score kind of becomes useless to colleges because the whole point of having such a system is so that colleges can compare you to other applicants. So the SAT and the ACT throw in a lot of trick questions to make sure that everyone's scores are nicely distributed. Fun fact, if you score a 1550 on the SAT, you are in the 99th percentile, which means that you did better than 99% of test takers. However, when it comes to the SAT Math 2 subject test, if you get a perfect 800 on the test, you are still 79th percentile, which means that 21% of people score the same as you. Score a 750 and you're at the 60th percentile, so you're basically average at 750. This is because the SAT Math 2 subject test is simply a test of your content knowledge. Colleges don't use your SAT Math 2 subject test score to compare you to other applicants. Rather, they just want to make sure that you're actually understanding the concepts that you're learning in your classes. So the first step you should take in improving your SAT Math 2 subject test score is simply to make sure that you've taken the math classes required in order to take this test. The major topics that are covered are Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, trigonometry, and elementary functions and pre-calculus, but really not too much pre-calculus. Generally, high school juniors who are currently taking pre-calculus or trigonometry or something similar to that should be on track to take this test by the end of their junior year. Now, if you're a sophomore watching this video and planning to take the SAT Math 2 subject test this year, I highly recommend you wait a year unless you're already a year ahead in math or more. Now, coming up, I'm going to give you my book recommendations and a step-by-step -step study plan so that you can improve your score by 100 plus points in a week, just like I did. But first, I wanna tell you about this video's sponsor, PDF Element. High school and college students are always dealing with PDF files, so it's definitely helpful for you to have a very useful, easy to use, multifunctional PDF editor. And unfortunately, Adobe products are super expensive, so if you're a broke college student like me, you definitely wanna look into PDF Element. You can get PDF Element for free on both iOS and Android, and there is also a paid version for both Mac and Windows. PDF Element has a ton of cool features. You can convert your PDFs to Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and even JPEG images. This comes in very handy as different professors will ask you to submit papers in all sorts of formats, and you wanna be prepared for that. Also, you can use PDF Element to take notes on your readings and edit your papers, whether you're on your iPad, tablet, laptop, or desktop. Luckily for you guys, PDF Element is now offering an exclusive 40% discount for my subscribers. So if you go to the link in the description right now and click on that, you should be able to get it for very cheap. Back to the video. Now I'm going to give you my seven day study plan to help you absolutely crush 
the SAT Math 2 subject test. Now, if you have more than seven days, feel free to spread this out. If you have less than seven days, feel free to shrink it. Also, if you want to follow my plan to a T and maximize your chances of getting that perfect 800, I highly recommend you go get Barron's SAT Math 2 subject test prep book right now. I put a link to that book in the description, the newest edition, so go check it out right now. This is the only SAT Math 2 subject test book that has both detailed explanations of every single thing that could be covered on the exam, as well as six high quality practice tests. Like I said, links in the description. So on to our study plan. Day one, we're gonna take the College Board's free SAT Math 2 subject test online. Now it's only 28 questions instead of 50, so I would give yourself about 35 minutes to complete the test. And by the way, I'll have links to every resource I talk about here in the description. Now, once you've completed this test, pull out a notebook and grade your test. Go through every single question you got wrong. Now, this is where the Barron's book comes in handy. I want you to take out the Barron's book and look at the table of contents. For every question you get wrong, match that question to a type of question that is listed within the Barron's book. Now, after grading that test, here's where the magic happens. Tally up all the different sections and how many questions you got wrong in each, and focus solely on the one that you got the most questions wrong in for an entire hour. Yes, that means do practice problems, look through the Barron's book, you know, go on Google and check out Khan Academy's explanations on the topic, whatever you have to do to have a very, very, very solid understanding of that section. From day two to day seven, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna start out by looking at your notes in the notebook from the day before and reviewing what you studied for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Then you're going to take one of the six SAT math practice tests in the Barron's book. Lastly, you're gonna go and do the same notebook process again. You're gonna grade every single question, and anytime you get something wrong, you're going to label it as one of the content areas. And then, you know what you're gonna do. You're gonna spend one hour studying that content area. Now, if you're a fan of this video so far, and you're excited about getting that 800 on your SAT Math 2 subject test, please give this video a like, uh, please comment your thoughts on it, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it really helps if you show me your appreciation. It makes me really motivated to post more videos. I've been wanting to post maybe more than once a week. So in order to make that a reality, I need your guys' help. I need to know that you enjoy these videos. So go do that. Now, if you want even more SAT Math 2 practice tests, I recommend you check out the College Board's complete SAT subject test book. I've also included a link to that in the description. They have about two practice tests for each exam, give or take. And if you're taking multiple subject tests, it might actually be a good investment. I found that taking this a day before the real thing kind of eased my nerves a lot because the Barron's tests are hard and they're, yeah, much more difficult than the actual test. So taking that last test and getting an 800 really helped ease my nerves. And that's my study plan. Uh, while it's super simple, that doesn't mean that it's easy. Uh, it takes a lot to motivate yourself to rigorously grade your tests and to take a practice test every day. But trust me, the payoff will be worth it. You won't have to take these tests more than once. You can move on with your life and have a great summer afterwards. So follow my plan and you will be successful. Now, one last tip for you guys before I sign off. On test day, it turns out that you only have to get about 44 out of 50 questions right on most sittings in order to get a perfect 800. If you find yourself completely stuck on a question and you kind of have already spent 45 seconds on it, just move on with no intent of returning to it. And also don't guess, because although the SAT no longer has a guessing penalty, the SAT subject tests still do. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, again, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, because I will be posting more videos in the coming weeks on AP tests, subject tests, all sorts of things. See you guys next week.